I don't know where to start with this. Probably I can talk about the topic for one hour plus uncut. Um, I want to talk about the wrestling community. I want to talk about that there is no such thing as wrestling community. There are strictly WWE fans, there are strictly AW fans, and there are a little bit of both, but I feel like it's more like 1,000 people probably are watching both shows. Like, it's kind of ridiculous. It's kind, of, it's kind of ridiculous. That whole thing with AW, WWE, it's, it's, it's a little bit like Coca-Cola versus Pepsi kind of situation. You're like putting Coca-Cola and Pepsi on the table and there is always that one guy that is like, objectively, Coca-Cola is way better... What are you even talking about? Yeah, even if you put it like this. Yeah, WWE has more money, has better production, has maybe better storylines, whatever. But some people prefer AEW. Some people prefer to watch wrestling. Some people prefer to watch unscripted promos. Some people watch only wrestling. There are different tastes in the game. The fact that you don't like something, that doesn't mean it sucks, you know? You should open your mind to everything. And the same goes for the AEW fans. Yeah, guys, some people prefer production type of shit. Some people prefer not live promos. Some people prefer longer storylines, whatever. You can get different stuff from different promotions. It's insane, right? The whole thing is, in 2018, I started watching wrestling again. Before that, I was watching wrestling as a kid with totally different perspective. I was watching The Undertaker, Kane, Edge, and I was like, wild fan. I was like, whoa, so cool. But in 2018, I came back, watched it from a different perspective. And from 2018 until the moment I started making videos, I feel like I was living in a bubble because I was watching the shows on a weekly basis. I was watching Twitter for backstage news and breaking news and whatever. And I was living in a bubble and because I never opened the comments to see how hostile are the fans to each other. And all of a sudden, when I started making videos, and especially when my videos got a little bit more attention, I realized how, for example, the other day I posted a video about Adam Copeland and Ricky Starks cutting a promo. I don't care if the promo is unscripted, scripted or whatever. I personally thought that the segment was funny. Did I care that they mentioned WWE? No, I don't. Did I care that they mentioned The Rock? No, I don't. I just take the segment as a whole and I thought it was funny because objectively it was. But what happened in the comment section was shit ton of comments where people are like, is there gonna be a week where AEW is not gonna mention WWE? They're never gonna grow that way. Ricky Starks is budget version of The Rock. Disgusting. Ricky Starks is garbage. AEW is garbage. And when are we gonna stop with this? When? when? Maybe I'm the wrong one. Maybe I'm the wrong one, but in my head, it's a blessing that you have the ability to watch wrestling six times per week with a good production. Because there are a ton of promotions out there, like Impact Wrestling and New Japan, that I don't know if they even have a TV deal. But you can watch six times per week, effortlessly, wrestling. And even if you're not in the United States, there are ways for you to watch wrestling, I assure you. So, it's bizarre. Probably in the next videos, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna pick comments specifically where people are just acting so lame for some reason. And the thing is, it's back and forth, like there are threads with 50 plus replies when people are going back and forth. Why WWE is good? Why WWE is bad? Why AW is good? Why AW is bad? And objectively and not objective, guys, boys, girls, we are one. Wrestling is winning. It doesn't matter if 
AEW All In was actually the biggest event in wrestling history. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It doesn't matter if the next WrestleMania is gonna be the biggest event. It doesn't. It's just really cool that all of these events have the capacity to take all of us. Because 20 years ago, no one could have imagined someone to do like 90,000 people show, right? And nowadays, we should all be grateful that all of us can go and watch that show live. I never watched a show live, but I want one day to watch a show live. Televised show or a big pay-per-view event. I'm not so sure about the live shows, but anyway, that's, that's just me. As you guys know, I'm not a big fan of the actual wrestling. I'm, I'm more of a fan of the storylines and promos and stuff like this, but this is just me. This, this is just me. As I said, I'm not judging anyone. I'm not saying that my thing is the right thing. And all I'm asking for you boys and girls is to do the same. Be one, be a unit, and instead of fighting each other, try to understand the person next to you. Instead of going in the comment section of someone and be like, this is a copy of a WWE story. Be like, what is the story about? You might don't know the story because in the last video, I posted a video of Christian Cage storyline and all the people in the comment section were like, this is a copy of a Dominic story. And I was like, do you even know the story of the Christian Cage? And they were like, no. Some people replied with, they just replaced Mammy with Christian Cage. And I'm like, these people don't even know what they're talking about. Because originally, I thought that people were thinking that it's a copy paste because the father of Nick Wayne is as bad as Rey Mysterio to Dominic, but no, no, no. People were thinking in a way different direction just because they're misinformed. When you see something online, you can do a few things. First off, if you really don't want to watch AEW or WWE shit, there is an option in every video to click that you're not interested. If you click that, probably this content will never be suggested to you ever again. Second of all, if you're actually interested and you're like, holy shit, that's interesting. But go in the comment section and see if the comment you want to make, someone else actually already made that comment. And third of all, read all the comments. If you want to be fully informed and instead of doing a hateful comment first, maybe ask a question first. Maybe try to get more context first instead of just jumping right into the fire and be like, this sucks, this does not suck, this is shit, this is trash. Just try to understand that at the end of the day, the guys at NXT, the guys at AEW, there are guys even on the main roster, all of these dudes are trying to make a name for themselves. Some of them are new, some of them don't have any following and they just want to have a chance, you know? They want to give them a chance. Be that guy, give them a chance. Don't start to hate on them or anything. Give them the chance. Give the same chance your employee gave to you when you start your first job. Give them that chance. You're losing nothing. These guys are basically putting their bodies on the line for you for your entertainment, for you to put smile on your face, for you to put laugh on your face or frown on your face or whatever the flip that character is trying to do. Maybe they really suck, maybe they do, but if they really do suck, at some point they're gonna get fired anyway from the company. You're not gonna be the deciding factor. That's gonna be it for now. If the hate continues and I'm pretty sure that it will. Maybe I'm gonna make a second part or third part where I'm reading the comments because that's an entertainment on its own. So thank you guys so much for watching. No hate, please. Peace. <laughs>